So here we have some tips to fill the fretboard because many people tend to you know have the guitar like this we talk about it this puts pressure in this part of the wrist and then you start to do weird twistings here it modifies the, the the way you pressure and of course you are pressing more than necessary or doing not a favorable thing will not make you play faster or anything so we keep the guitar we said we keep the guitar straight like this or inside this way not this way this is bad so now what about because this is just for because of watching so not only the neck will be injured but the hand and for sure this is not conducive to playability or to, to get faster in the skates or in anything so this is to be avoided the guitar should be straight and now it comes the question that how I know my distances so some people start playing say they search for the 8th fret and then they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 this is not the way to calculate that with the full body guitar we just do this this, this I learned from Paco because uh, one day I asked how can you play here in the upper part and, and, and don't need to watch this. So he said a very funny thing that if I turn off the light and you touch your wife, you don't know his hair or what. So this means you need to know your companion by, by feel, not by seeing it, but just by touch. So then therefore, practicing with blindfold is useful if you are not a total beginner to give a different experience of how you play. Now, this thing here, uh, how we calculate to the frets. So we have 7 fret, then suppose we want to, to, to know 8 fret, and then we don't do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, but just placing my hand here to the limit of the body of the guitar, like this, this automatically placed, I am placing right away the finger 1 on the 9th fret. So I do this, and then I get finger 1 here on the 9th fret. So if I want 8, I do just, just do this. I don't have to go counting from here. So I do this and learn to feel it. Unless we are extraterrestrials or something, we have four fingers here. And then before I do this, and then finger four goes on the 12th fret, finger three on the 11th, finger two on the 10th, and finger one on the 9th. So then therefore here I have eight fret base, and also uh, seven or, or six even. I can count from here instead of, of, of from this point because in our flamenco technique, in modern flamenco guitar, we don't have any dots here. This is, there is no need of this. Paco said there is no need. Of, some people have even dots on the third fret. Like, hello, can, you cannot count even th three on the third fret. So what's that? Means you are too much into the visual thing while playing. You are engaging more your eyes than the hands. <laughs> so than you, yeah, your inner mind should make the map of the fretboard so that you don't need to see. And because this this thing of postures like this, <coughs> twisting, is bad. So then therefore to keep the guitar straight or even inside, which is the best thing, that's what Paco told me years ago, that this is even better than, I mean, instead of this, inside. So this is the defense, perpendicular to the floor. This is the wrong thing to watch. And then this is, this is right. And this is also, this is even better. But here you don't see anything of the fretboard, you see? You don't see, so then therefore you need to, to get feel of it through this top, through this part of the top. So on the full body guitar, a little bit again, we just do this with the hand and finger one is automatically on the ninth fret. I hope these tips will be useful. Thanks and I see you next time. Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista?
yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, creo que son muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música. Me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música, debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no?